Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of MMA Mike. On this episode, I'm going to preview the fight Vitor Belfort versus Nate Marquardt. Um, it's going to be the third fight on the main card of the Saturday, June 3rd fight in Rio de Janeiro, UFC 212. Um, this fight obviously is all about Vitor's retirement and going out with a win, going out with a bang. It's supposed to kind of be like his retirement party. Um, Nate Marquardt is supposed to be kind of an easier opponent to let Vitor go out on a win. Uh, so is that what's going to happen? Um, Nate's coming off a decision win, excuse me, a decision loss to Sam Alvey. Uh, the fight before that, he knocked out Tam Dan McCrory, second round. So he still got some gas left in the tank. Um, he also scored a second round knockout over CB Dalloway about a year and a half ago. So Nate's Nate's not dead in the water by any means. Um, obviously Vitor's had a legendary career. I mean, dudes beat the best of the best. But since TRT's been banned. You look at his body now and look at his body two years ago and it doesn't even look like the same person. I mean, he he looks flabby compared to what he was before. His pecs are falling down like those guys that did too many steroids and then got off him. I mean, his muscle definition looks horrible for an athlete. I mean, he doesn't even look like an athlete. He doesn't look anything like the shredded monster a couple years ago. Paul pictures of him a couple years ago. He looks like a freaking animal and now he, he's got the dad bod going. Really makes me wonder how long he was using for. Uh, in fact, since the TRT ban at the beginning of 2016, Belter's 0-3. He's been knocked out all three of his losses uh, by Ronaldo Souza, Gegard Masasi, and Kelvin Gastelum consecutively. His chins look very suspect. His speed and power have not been the same. Um, I will give credit where credit is due. Um... Ronaldo Souza, that guy's an animal. Um, Gegar Mousasi, also a very top contender. Kelvin Gastelum's been coming into his own lately. So, I mean, he, he had a pretty tough streak there. I don't think anybody really expected him to get knocked out by Kelvin Gastelum, though. And that's, uh, I think, what's led to the retirement talk. Is he going to have enough left to take out Nate Marquardt? Mark Watt's taking a share of beatings, for sure. Um, reach between these guys is, is equal. Uh, Nate has really good wrestling. He has good submissions. But Vitor's takedown defense is solid as well. Um, Vitor, obviously, he doesn't go for very many submissions. That's why he doesn't have very many submissions. Um, I think if Vitor wins, I think he wins it by a knockout in the first round or early in the second uh, after that, I, I think he's totally gassed. I think his career's over. I think Nate wins it. If it, if it makes it to the third round, I'm pretty sure Nate wins this fight. Um, unless, of course, Vitor decides to ignore the drug test and comes in hot, knows it's his last fight. It is in Brazil. There's been accusations in the past that fighters have got away with a little more masking as far as drugs go. Uh in Brazil, he wants to go out on top in Rio de Janeiro. You know, that's this is his home country, so he may take the chance. Who knows? But like I said, if, if he doesn't come in hot, I really think that if he doesn't take him out in those, I'd say, first eight minutes, seven and a half, eight minutes of the fight, uh, it's Mark Hart's fight. He's still got power, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a long night for Vitor. I I don't see any retirement party in the future. Um, so thanks for tuning in to this fight. Um, uh, fight breakdown. Keep your eyes peeled. I'm going to preview uh, the main event and the co-main event coming up in the next couple days. You guys have comments? Please put your comments down below. Um, get in some banter with me. I'd appreciate that. Uh, if you like my videos, please hit that like button. Uh, if you want to see more of it, hit that subscribe button. Uh, thanks for tuning in to another episode of MMA Mike. 
Hope you guys have a great day. I really appreciate you guys.